In this video, we are going to learn how to solve definite integration with Casio calculator easily in a matter of seconds. Now, after going through this video, you will be able to solve definite integration with Casio FS and our ES Plus calculator easily in a matter of seconds. So stay with me till the end of this video so that you get to understand everything I'm going to teach regarding how to use Casio calculator to solve definite integration. Okay, let's begin. Now know that whenever you want to solve definite integral questions with Casio calculator, the calculator should always be in reduced mode to avoid unnecessary error. Very, very important. So take note of these points. Having known that, let's look at the examples I have here and solve them together. Example 1 here says, evaluate the integral 7ds over s squared minus 5x minus 6. So right now, let's bring the Casio calculator and solve this question together. Okay, the first thing you have to do will be to put the calculator in reduced mode. As you can see, the calculator is in degree. To change it from degree to reduced mode, you simply press Shift. This mode button after pressing Shift and go for category 4. This stands for reduce, so it's now in reduce mode. The next thing you have to do will be to input these integral values in the calculator. Don't be confused with this ds here. It represents or stands for function. What this means is, if you are asked to read this question, instead of saying Evaluate the integral 7 over s squared minus 5s minus 6. You see, evaluate the integral function 7 over s squared minus 5x minus 6. So you will need to include function while we didn't have the question. So that's what this is is standing for in this question it stands for function so don't be confused with it so having known that let's impute these values in the Casio calculator to start with you bring out the integral symbol then move your cursor up and impute the upper limit value here so upper limit value here is then you come down, lower limit value is 7. You move your cursor to this empty box and impute the values there. So it's in function have 7 over s square. So to bring out x in the calculator, you have to press alpha first and x. If you just press X alone without pressing alpha, S will not come out. You will have to press alpha first before pressing X. Very, very important. So take note of this. So here we have S square minus 5X alpha X minus 6. So that's it. This is exactly what we have here as the best job. So let's press support and see what we get as an answer. We have 1.0678. So let's check the options. The options are not in decimal places as we have here. So we have to evaluate each and every one of the options we have here to put them in decimal places. In, in order to know the right option. So right now, let's start with option A. 
So it says lane 32 over 11. So look at lane button. So it is in fraction. We have 32 over 11. We close the brackets. 1.0678. Okay, so this option A is the answer. No need evaluating option B and C. Since option A gave us the exact value we got when we did the integration for this question. So option A is the answer is, is as easy as that. Just to the calculator in reduce mode first and impute the values, the integral values and subtract you get the answer. Let's solve one more example. This example two and uh, call it a class. So example two I say evaluate the integral function sine three x plus two x. So to start with you bring out the integral symbol and computes the upper and lower limits. Upper limits there is in fraction pi over two. So to bring up pi, you press shift pi is here, this button over two. You come down to the lower limits. The lower limit is zero. So you move your cursor this empty bus and input the values here there we have sign 3x alpha x equals the bracket cos 2x alpha x equals the bracket equals the brackets so that's it. This is exactly what we have here as the question. So let's press support and see what we get as an answer. 3 over 5. So the right option here is option B. 3 over 5. Very, very simple. It's as easy as that. So, guys, this is basically how you can use Castle Calculator to solve technique integration. Very, very simple. Make sure that the calculator is in reduced mode before you begin to solve it. It's very, very important. So, we have come to the end of this class. I believe I taught this topic very well. So, if you are new to our channel, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more of our videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video to tell me how you feel about what you have just learned in this class. If you seem to have any specific question to ask, feel free to leave your question at the comment section below. I will ensure to give you a response. So that's it for this class, guys. Thanks for watching this video.